For this episode of the GoPro Field Guide, we are headed up to the beautiful Cadrona Resort in New Zealand to hit their half pipe. I'm GoPro athlete Hannah Teeter, and today I'm going to show you all the ways to use 1080p with the new Hero 4 Black camera. Why shoot in 1080p? Well, it's just one resolution setting in Hero 4 of several. By changing frame rates and fields of view, the possibilities are endless. 1080p isn't the highest resolution video mode of the Hero 4 camera, but it's super versatile and great for YouTube videos and more. Let's get started. For the opening shots of a video, it's always nice to introduce the setting or environment in which the piece takes place. Here are a couple beauty shots of the surrounding area and the half pipe, all of which were captured in 1080p 30. For a static shot like this, shooting in 1080p at 30 frames per second guarantees the highest possible image quality for this resolution. With no need to slow it down in post, it's good to utilize lower frame rate shots to get the highest image quality out of your camera. You can also play with the field of view to get the effect you want. Here's a wide, medium, and narrow shot of the pipe. It's time to introduce the character of the piece, me! For this, I did a number of selfies in the all new setting for Hero 4 Black, 1080p 120, for a dramatic slow motion effect. We're going to be using this setting a ton as it maximizes on the potential of the Hero 4 Black. With the character and setting established, let's get to the shredding. To add some drama to the piece, use super slow motion. Using 1080 at 120 frames per second, you can really add that special sauce to your video. For head mounted shots, I bumped the frame rate down to 60 frames per second. You get a little better image quality than 120 frames per second and still have a high enough frame rate for slow motion. For head mounted shots, you can also play around with using the super view setting at 1080p as it can help keep the horizon and snowboard in the shot. For any pole mount shots, I crank the FPS back to 120. Handheld shots tend to be shaky, so by utilizing higher frame rates, you can find that blip of video that's awesome and really slow it down for a cinematic effect. It also helps with smoothing the video out. While I wouldn't recommend changing the field of view on head or body mounted shots, it can be great for angles where the camera is far away, helping to zoom in on the subject. A medium or narrow field of view gets a more traditional shot, creating a good contrast with the immersive wide angle GoPro footage. It's always good to end on a high note. The last shot of your video should always be something that is exciting and leaves the viewer wanting more. So let's wrap this piece up with a super slow motion slash at the bottom of the pipe, again using 120 frames per second. Boy, are you itching to go snowboarding now. And there you have it. By changing frame rates and fields of view in 1080p with the Hero 4 Black, you can create a variety of effects for your video. I hope you enjoyed this GoPro Field Guide episode focusing on 1080p. Thank you for watching and check back soon on GoPro Tutorials for more Field Guide episodes.